Welcome into another season of Elon Phoenix Weekly, where we're going to take a closer look at the sports community on and around Elon's campus and bring you the best stories possible. I'm Chase Williams, and we'll also be joined by Amanda Contali later on. On Elon's campus, sports surround us every day, from clubs and organizations to organized sports to the Varsity Division I athletics. Today, we cover all levels. First, a group of students that have built an organization around something they love, motorsports. It's like art that moves. It's, I, I can't even explain it. There's just something that's inherently interesting about them to me. I'm John, I'm a senior. I'm a double majoring in marketing and finance. Cars are something I've always been interested in. And I just happened to find freshman year group of guys who were interested in the same thing. It's just a club, bunch of guys. We get together, talk about cars, watch F1 races sometimes go go-karting and go to VIR occasionally. Just, it's kind of just a group of guys hanging out. There's not much more you can really ask for. Whether you have a cool car or not, you just meet up, you talk about your cars, kind of talk about the automotive world, what's happening, new cars coming out. It's just kind of like a good way to bond and meet new people at Elon. You can get into it without having to spend the money. Eventually, if you have the funds to do that, you can do it then. I do have my own car on campus. It's a 2017 BMW 230i. One of my friends freshman year had one and I had a chance to drive it. I kind of immediately fell in love with it. I wanted something of my own and I had the chance, so I got one. The whole experience that it's a little more luxurious, but still pretty sporty. Driving them, especially, we're so close to the Blue Ridge Mountains, you can go out and do a day trip, like see some beautiful scenery, drive a little spirited if you want to, or just take it all in. There's nothing like a good road trip to me. Motorsport is a growing group, especially with Formula One, which has grown in recent years here in the United States, partially due to the Netflix series Drive to Survive. Now, we welcome in Amanda Cantali for our next segment. Amanda, welcome to the Elon Phoenix Weekly. Thank you, Chase. Club volleyball is fairly new to Elon, with the men's and women's team on the rise. We get to see how their teams practice together, interact, and most importantly, connect through their close relationships. No, don't! My God! I'm Kylie Abair. I'm a senior, and I'm a right side outside for the women's club volleyball team. Uh, Dave DeRosa. I'm a senior, and I am a middle right side libero. Whatever we need, basically. <laughs> So I started playing volleyball in high school and knew that I wanted to play in college, but wasn't good enough to play on a varsity team, but ended up being good enough to play on our club team here. So I've been playing for four years and I've fallen in love with it ever since the first day freshman year. Uh, I've been playing since I was 12. Um, and so similar to Kylie, obviously wasn't gonna play in college, wanted to find a place that had great academics and a good club pro program. And, uh, you know, stumbled upon being here at Elon. Um, I think yeah. the atmosphere that we've built with our teammates and just having that family away from home. Um, I'm from California, so this is really far for me. So having my teammates to rely on has been really helpful for me in my college experience. Well, um, specifically here, I'd say, you know, my freshman year when we got here, we didn't have anything. You know, our, our jerseys were a bunch of uh, V-necks with Sharpie written on them. And we didn't go to any tournaments or anything like that. So we've come a long way for sure in four years. And that definitely is what drives uh, the passion and for what we do here. The team dynamic, as you saw from practice, is very fun. We've tried to build it up to be a really positive experience for everybody. That's kind of the goal. We don't want this to be in any way negative for anyone. So we try to have a lot of fun during practices. We do a lot of things outside of practice to bond with each other. And we travel to tournaments throughout North Carolina. And then we have one team that's going to travel to Phoenix, Arizona in a week, actually, um, April 13th. 
to compete in nationals. So sometimes we'll have a couple of the guys stay back and help us out with our practices, but mostly we practice separately. Sometimes we'll set up little scrimmages like this though to practice the in-game dynamics. They're, they're a great group of girls and you know, it's always great to get different perspectives too on the game. Um, the girls game is much more passing oriented and defense oriented, so it's always great to get in other eyes and uh, they're just great people in general. So it's always fun uh, to banter with them and play and scrimmage like you just saw, so. I mean, I feel like everybody misses sports when they come to college, especially if you're not gonna play. And uh, this gives you that other opportunity. And after this, you're, never, you're really never gonna play organized sports again your whole life. So, you know, it means a lot for uh, the guys in this team, for sure. The teams are currently going to Arizona for nationals and we wish them the best of luck. We cannot wait to continue to see their growth into the future. Yeah, that, that picture of the homemade jerseys from a few seasons ago, it's just amazing to see. But for this episode, you know, we start with the organization around a sport, then looked at a co competitive club sport. And now let's take a look at the varsity division one level. Last year, women's track and field won the CAA championship. And a crucial part of that team was the throwers who come from very different athletic backgrounds. Many of them growing up not focused on track and field, but now they are finding a love for it. Hey, I'm Lauren Carlton. I'm a thrower for Elon Track and Field. I'm Sophia Belgic and I'm a thrower at Elon Track and Field. Hi, I'm Christine and I'm a thrower for Elon Track and Field. My name is Grace Dieleman and I'm a thrower for Elon Track and Field. My name is Caitlin McGugan and I'm a thrower for Elon Track and Field. My name is Megan and I'm a thrower for Elon Track and Field. It takes a lot of relaxation. You would think in a throw where you're like throwing heavy things you have to be all like mighty and gripping everything but you really don't it's about being relaxed it's about trusting your practice and just letting your body do what it knows how to do it's so technical that you have to hit everything perfect like you want to be perfect versus other sports you don't specifically want it that perfect like there's other things you can like get out with versus track and like throwing is specifically you have one of perfection of your technique throwing it's it's very mental like you put in the work and you have the technical stuff, but if you mess up one thing technically, it can like ruin your entire throw. I throw shot put, discus, and hammer. I do not do jab. That is a whole, <laughs> javelin is a whole different beast. You know, it's, it's a throwing event, but it's a little bit different than, than the other three. So there's hammer throw, shot put, discus, and javelin, and I throw javelin here. Javelin is kind of a long spear that we like kind of run and throw it. All of the other throwing, um, events you kind of spin and throw the implement but javelin you run up and then stop and throw. I started throwing my freshman year of high school. Um, my football coach in high school saw me playing in middle school football in middle school and he was like you're gonna throw as well as play football. I was a swimmer for all my life but I wanted to stay fit for my upcoming season so I decided to be a runner and I, that lasted one day and I quit the next day to become a thrower and now I'm a Division One athlete, so that's basically how I got here. In high school, freshman year, everyone was just kind of trying everything. My 100 meter was just a little bit slow, so then my coach threw me in discus. I started throwing in high school and track was a spring sport and I didn't have a spring sport, so you got like a cool, you got a different colored letter if you lettered in three sports in high school and I wanted the different colored letter, so I went out for track and field and running was not my thing, so I started throwing. Um, and as a previous softball player, javelin kind of came naturally to me. I actually started because of basketball. I used to go to track and field practices just to develop my physical appearance, all that. Um, and then my coach, after one of the practices, was like, let's try throwing. And then I ended up pretty good. And then I kind of started taking it seriously around like eighth, ninth grade. If I could throw anything competitively, it'd probably be an actual hammer. Because whenever I tell people I throw a hammer, they're like, what, you're throwing a hammer? I'm like, absolutely, I'm throwing an actual hammer. So I would love to throw an actual one. If I could throw anything competitively, it would be med balls because I love slamming them somewhere. It just gives me that satisfaction. <laughs> if I could competitively throw anything in this whole world, it'd probably be a pumpkin because if you get it nice and far out there, it's gonna explode and you're just gonna see all the stuff. So I'm just a little kid in that way. For me personally, I think I would have to wanna to throw a television, you know? Watching a sporting event, it doesn't go the way you were hoping for it. All you wanna do is throw that TV out the window or whatever, but Amanda, what would you throw? Great question, Chase. Um, I think I'd throw a cantaloupe just because it's a fruit. I think that's a common thing we all throw and it reminds me of my last name, Cantali, which kinda of go hand in hand. 
Yeah, I think my backup choice had to be a watermelon anyway, so. But that's all we have here on Elon Phoenix Weekly. I'd like to thank the whole team that helped us put this episode together. For Amanda Contali, I'm Chase Williams. Have a great day.